there's these moments where a person emerges and they go, okay, we haven't seen one of these guys before. Like Yair Rodriguez is a perfect example. Yeah. Like this fucking guy. I watch that guy fight and I go, Jesus Christ, like here's a new thing. Here's a guy who's like this elite Taekwondo guy who knows how to do everything else too. But he throws these Taekwondo kicks like a normal person throws a jab. He just, they're a part of his arsenal. Yeah. He's throwing jump and roundhouse kicks and wheel kicks and he's, He's doing sh that like you gotta you gotta get ready for this because this guy's gonna do this every round and this is a, a totally different type of engaging like you've got to be aware of things coming from all these crazy angles and they're coming fast. Yalu, Taekwondo, an art armed with an arsenal of kicks thought to be impractical in the higher levels of unarmed combat, especially when you consider the tremendous amount of skill required to be even kind of good in comparison to other arts. With a focus on the instep, missing the shin, knees, elbows, alongside having little emphasis on boxing, it makes sense as to why it's believed to be more of an ornamental art, because it feels like there are other disciplines that have simpler and more direct techniques that simply offer a higher reward as you learn them. It is the same thing with pure boxing on its own. Pure boxing on its own simply holds no contest in the diverse world of the mixed martial arts arena. But what happens when you take that higher level of boxing, its art, and its science, and then you teach it everything else? You teach it grappling. You teach it kicks and knees. The same way Jiu-Jitsu dominated an era due to its knowledge advantage, you awaken a monster that can compensate for its holes whilst holding you. No, drowning you in its own world. That is Yair Rodriguez. But instead, with Taekwondo. He took his high-level pure discipline, then added the conditioned shin, added the knees, the grappling, the punches. He patched all the holes to his game, becoming something the competition hasn't really trained to deal with. They thought it was going to be a lost art in the arena. But right there, the moment they were not looking, Yair pulled them concussion deep into a sea of knowledge they thought was useless awakening them to the truth by putting them to sleep. <laughs> the element of surprise, that is what Yair's high-level Taekwondo is utilizing. It's simply harder to deal with something when you haven't trained to deal with it, essentially attacking a fortress from a side that was left unguarded. And if you combine that with the fact that Yair is a right-hand dominant standing as a southpaw, he truly has a counterintuitive style that even the most experienced coaches have a blind spot analyzing. It's a stance you do see more of in pure karate and pure taekwondo, you know, leading with your smarter dominant leg alongside being Bruce Lee's stance philosophy. But MMA, typically combining only the most rewarding and efficient methods, is a science and an art form that is still evolving. In regards to what it actually thinks is the concoction of ideal methods, I believe Bruce Lee when he said, there is no such thing, that there is no perfect method, no perfect method of doing things, partially because it also resonates with the philosophy of many other key thinkers throughout history. Socrates, the only true wisdom is knowing, you know nothing. Einstein, calculating mathematically that no one truly knows anything with the Mashurian circumference. Leo Tolstoy, or even better, someone relevant today, Neil deGrasse Tyson. In terms of the most astonishing fact about which we know nothing, there is dark matter and dark energy. We don't know what either of them is. Everything we know and love about the universe and all the laws of physics as they apply, apply to 4% of the universe. And that is stunning. Even Neil deGrasse Tyson will tell you, he really does not know anything, despite having so much conviction in his voice when he speaks. But that should not deter you from learning, even though this assumes we as mere humans will truly never know anything. All this proves is that you have to keep learning. You have to keep growing as you attempt to stand on the shoulders of giants, as futile as that may seem. Because at the end of the day, the one who thinks they know everything will be blindsided by the one who is humble enough to admit they have much to learn. And in this case, the student teaching us this very fact is Yair Rodriguez with an aerial kick to the face. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. It's good karma. 
And until next time, peace. Yair Rodriguez is, is, if you fans have not seen Yair Rodriguez, this kid is the future.